everybody. My name is Julie Hewitt. I am the Executive Director of the Illinois Nutrient Research and Education Council, better known as NREC. I just have a few minutes here with you today, but I wanted to give you some, I don't know, words of advice from somebody who's been working in the agricultural industry for over 20 years. The first thing I really want to talk to you about is something that I um, have found really important in my career, and that is developing a personal brand. So when you think about a brand, you might think about um, like Diet Coke or Pepsi or Nike or you know any of the different things that have a brand attached to it. But we as individuals have a brand as well. And it's really important as you get to the time where you're starting to write college essays or start thinking about entering the, the career field that you really define who you are, what you bring to an organization. Again, whether it's a, if you're running for an office um, in an organization that you're in, if you're applying to college or when eventually you're starting to look for a job. So I'll give you the example of my personal brand. I've taken my career from steel toed boots to designer heels and back again. With my feet firmly planted in my agricultural roots, I have embraced opportunities to engage in all aspects of business. I've worked everywhere from the back of my pickup truck at the end of a dirt road to downtown Chicago. With an eye for strategy and a passion for production agriculture, I pride myself on building bridges between farmers and consumers. In my current role, I work closely with industry partners to address the issues of nutrient efficiency and water quality and spend my days at the intersection of crop production and environmental stewardship. So again, that's my personal brand. When somebody asks me, what do you do? What do you bring to the table? This is what I can refer to. And I would encourage you to really think about how you want to be remembered. If you, again, if you're going in to apply for a job or college applications or running for an office in an organization that you're in, take a few minutes, write down the things that, that come top to mind. So for me, it's an eye on strategy and a passion for production agriculture, because that's really where my biggest strengths lie. Um, I thrive very well when I am allowed to develop strategy and think about how a company should be going and what their next step should be. And if that comes together with a passion for agriculture, then I really consider that a win-win. If I could give you one piece of advice, knowing that you're all at various stages um, in your education, it would be to take advantage of any opportunities that you have to internship or to job shadow. If there's something that you think you might be interested in, again, whether if it's an ag or anything else, seek out people who already do that job and look for an opportunity that you can spend the day with them. If you can get an internship and do it for college uh, credit, that's ideal, but that's not always the case. Sometimes just spending a few days either shadowing or being able to do the work really helps you to narrow down the focus of what you think you might want to do. So thank you so much for listening to me. Um, again, I would encourage you to start thinking about what your personal brand might be. Pick some words, think, some, think about what it might mean. And I'm very excited for all of you as young women who are hopefully going to come into the agricultural field. We need you. We want you. There's so many opportunities, but we know there's also a lot of other fantastic opportunities out there. So I'll leave you with, oh, the places you'll go. Dr. Seuss had it right. The future is yours. I'm excited for you. If there's ever anything I can do for you, or if you have any questions, my contact information is here. And again, thank you so much and enjoy the process of exploring all of the opportunities that are out there.